Hey everyone, this is Jonas with Accuracy and welcome back to Accuracy Home Practice. This time around we are not going to look at an actual maneuver, but rather the base for pretty much every maneuver, namely the flight lines. Now the flight lines are something that every pilot should know about, but it's not really well documented, I guess. It took me two years of flying until someone finally told me about them, and it was like, Oh, that's why the flights of other people look so much better than mine. Yeah, so let's take a look at what flight lines are. So I will throw up a little graphic on screen, um, which is my flying field with the lines painted in. And you can see, um, first of all, my pilot spot with a very well-drawn version of me. And then you can see a horizontal line spanning across the field, a vertical line, and two lines at 45 degrees to the others. So the horizontal line is what we call the flight line. This is the baseline for all your maneuvers. It should be at a distance where you're comfortable with flying at, approximately 5 to 10 meters away from you, depending on heli size and how comfortable you are with flying that helicopter at that distance. You should be able to happily fly smack at that distance without endangering anyone or, you know, not making it uncomfortable for bystanders. So, pick a distance. Um, I will position my Logo 800 at that distance real quick. For example, I would say this is a good I'm going to zoom in a bit. Uh, this would be a good distance for my baseline, for my flight line. So then you can see a vertical line out from this, which is my center line. And the center line is something that you need to keep track of to, ge to keep maneuvers centered in front of you. You don't want to fly 10 meters left of the base uh, of the center line or 10 meters right of the center line. You don't want to come out crooked when you start on the center line, for example, a loop outward from you and then come out like five meters off the line. It just doesn't look good. It's not clean. Um, so we'll take a look at that. Um, the intersecting point of these lines is the center point of your flight. Uh, you should make sure that maneuvers are approximately symmetric to the center line and that if you do stationary stuff you do it approximately in the center point of your flight line. And then you have these two auxiliary lines, um, the 45 degree lines. You can use these for, for example, 45 degree loops, etc. And they just um, help you add another element to your flying. Uh, if you fly, for example, a circle, I will show you how we space that out for it to look good. And well, let's get back to accuracy and take a look at our lines. So I'm here with the Logo 800 on the Global 3D Scenery. And we have already picked a distance at which we want to start off for our base flight line. So let's pick a center point. Let's see. Um, I think the pillar of this building in the background. I'm going to zoom in a bit more so I can show you exactly what I mean. Um, the pillar I'm hovering in front of right now, I will take that as my central line guide because that kind of seems like it is centered with the field right above the U of the GAWI. Uh, zoom out again and revert our camera mode to ground and view. Uh oh, uh oh, don't do this. So let's do a bit of flying and take a look at how we can stay on the lines. So for example, I am now on my flight line horizontally and in line with the tower in the back, so on my center line. So this is the center point of my flight. So let's take off and fly off to the right. Always on the flight line, do a loop, some tick-tocks, some rolls, make sure to keep the distance. Uh, I transition into a loop, come back, roll, transition into the center line. See, that was not on the center line, so I'm going to do that again. I'm going to come in, transition onto the center line, stop, come back, some pure bunny hops, and I'm back in my center point. Doing some pogos, 
trying to keep them on the center point. I don't want them to wander off to the right like this or to be all over the place, so we're keeping them nice and centered. I mean, you can wander off like half a meter or so of your center point, it will still look fine, but don't go off too far. Uh, some pure wobbles also in the center point, and let's do a funnel because funnels are interesting. You want them to be symmetric about your center line and you want the closest point of the funnel to be approximately on your flight line. So don't take your center point of your flight as the center point of the funnel. That would be kind of deadly because you'd probably be flying through yourself. So keep the center point as the closest point for any maneuvers that go around in a circle. Also this pyro funnel for example. Or what else can we do with this? Um, I don't know. Um, do a rolling circle also nice and symmetric. This is a bit of a tight one. But you can see um, that I'm going left and right approximately as far on the center line. And the closest point is approximately in my flight. I'm admittedly getting a bit closer than my flight line, but that's due to me flying the simulator. I'm avoiding that in real life. Okay, so let's take a look what we can do with the 45 degree lines. So for example, I'm at the center point here and I can fly out and do a 45 degree loop transition into another 45 degree loop on the other 45 degree line back to the first 45 degree line and let's say a pure rainbow 45 degrees out 45 degrees out uh, center line more or less that was not pretty some pure flips nice in the center point Something Kyle Dahl did uh, in 2011 really stuck with me. The maneuver is called the half star. I do it to this day. It's beautiful. You come in, do a wall, rainbow on the, uh, on the flight line, rainbow on the 45 degree line, rainbow on the center line, rainbow on the other 45 degree line, and rainbow on the flight line again. Using all five lines in one maneuver, which looks absolutely beautiful. And then Kyle Dahl comes in and does it with pure reversals and I'm like, holy... Another thing to consider is rainbows. Uh, if you do rainbows, do them also symmetric to the center line. Fly just as far to the left as you fly to the right. Stay on your flight line. Do not come closer to yourself. Do not go far away from yourself. If you want to do them pirouetting, do them pirouetting. But watch for your symmetry that you do symmetric rainbows left and right. Um, I don't know, I can also do like, now nah, pure flipping rainbows, maybe a bit hard, but also kind of this stuff, flipping rainbows, make sure the flip is nice and centered. Uh, what else can we do? Oh yeah, altitude control. Uh, you may have seen that I've tried to keep one altitude more or less. So for example, if you want to do a basic loop, come in on the flight line, watch my altitude. I'm just above the banners. Do the loop, nice and symmetric, and come out right on the same height with the banners. Um, that is very important to make your flight look good. For example, also uh, in pogos that you always fly them to the same height and not do like a pogo that stops up here and the next one you bring down here and then you do one that stops up here. Maybe a bit dramatic. Um, Stationary maneuvers like pyro flips, do them in one uh, height, tick tocks, make sure they're nice and consistent, do not drop or climb too much. If you do this, this kind of loop flying, make sure you always come out on the same height, switching lines to center line, switching lines to 45 degree line. You see, I, also, I always try to come out at approximately the same height. It's not going to be 100% consistent, but it gets the job done. Also for things like TikTok circles, you come in TikToking on the line, you fly the circle, make sure it's symmetric about the center line, as far to the left as, uh, as you go to the right and then come out on the line again. 
Obviously my flying is not perfect, but I think I'm able to get the point across. So yeah, uh, if you've never heard of this concept, hallelujah, you now have. Uh, try to apply it to your flying. It is a really important concept to get down and nail and it just makes your flight look so much better. There is one flight by Kyle Dahl with the Logo 800 Extreme from 2011 that is an absolutely perfect demonstration of all the concepts I've uh, mentioned and tried to show off here because he just stays on the line so absolutely perfectly. I've never seen a flight that demonstrates this better. I will link it down in the description. Um, it's called Logo 700 or awesome, but that was at a time where no one really was certain what the 800 Extreme was going to be. But yeah, it's the 800. So let's do an auto rotation that comes in beautifully on the center line. And with that, I hope you enjoyed this little video, I hope you learned something, and see you next week.